okay, there's some big stuff happening in the world and I just want to share a few ways to help the kids and teens in your life feel a bit safer. When their world gets shaky, they will be looking straight to you, their important adult, to, for signs of safety. And they'll be looking for answers to two questions. The first is, do you see me? The second is, what does this mean for me and am I safe? We answer the first question by feeling what they feel for a moment and seeing the world the way they see it. So that might be something like, I can see how worried you are about this. I can see that you're feeling a bit anxious about this. I get it. There's some big stuff happening and we're doing things in ways that we don't usually do them. Of course, that's going to feel scary. When we can meet that emotion with the same level of energy, it registers safety in the brain. What it registers is this person is here, this person we've recruited for support is here and they get it, they get me. They can see everything we see. And what that feeds into is we're more likely to be, be believed when we move into the next bit, which is, and even with that, I know that you are going to be okay. I know we're going to get through this. We are safe. So if we can name the emotion we see, meeting the same energy with which we, meeting it with the same energy with which we, we see it, and then move into, and I know we're going to be safe, that is one way to help them. So we sit with them in the mess for a little while. We don't just want to drag them out of it and tell them there's nothing to worry about. That won't work. They won't believe it anyway. We have to sit there, right there, feel what they feel, see what they see, and then move them into courage. If you're feeling a little bit anxious yourself, that's completely understandable because we're dealing with things we haven't dealt with before too. It's okay to share that with them from a position of strength. It's okay to say, you know what, I get it. I'm feeling anxious about things too because it seems like things are changing so quickly. We don't want to shut down that emotion. It can be really helpful for them if they see that we also feel this stuff. It opens the way for them to feel it and share it. What we want to do is add in. So we add in courage, we add in strength, we add in optimism. So it might be something like, you know what, I can see how worried you are about this and I get it. There are things that are happening that are worrying me too. You know what though, I know with everything in me that we're going to get through this. There are people working on this, experts around the clock to help us, help protect us and help get us through. And I trust them. I, I trust that we're going to get through this. I know we are. The second thing that can be helpful is to point them towards the differences. So an anxious brain will focus on the similarities between them. They'll be focusing on the similarities between them and the people who have been really affected by this. We can help them feel safe by pointing them towards the differences. So it might be their health, it might be their age, it might be where they live. The biggest one, if you're struggling to find differences, is the passage of time. So what we say is, you know what, we know so much more now than we did at the beginning of this than we did a few weeks ago. And there are people who have been able to use that information to keep us safe. And that's why we're doing things like we know we have to wash our hands a lot. We know we have to cover our coughs. We know that we have to stay to ourselves for a little while. Um, the other thing that can be helpful is remembering that anxiety is energy. It's energy mobilizing us to fight or flee. It's when we don't have anything to do with that energy, that's when it can feel awful and it can, it can nurture a sense of helplessness. What we want to do is turn that helpful lessness into helpfulness and we can do that by pointing out the things that they can do that can make a difference so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we wash our hands we're going to make sure we cover our coughs and you know there's something you're doing that is really important by doing the things we're doing which are different like staying away if school's been shut down or by not doing the things that we usually do by staying at home we are helping to protect the people who aren't as strong and healthy. So what you're doing is, is really important. We're making sure that we don't spread the virus. We are, when everybody does it, we, we stop the virus spreading and we help protect people um, who might be older who might or who might not be as well from getting the virus. So what you're doing is really important. For you, I wanna say, these are really unusual times. It's okay. If schedules get knocked out it's okay if screen time amps up a little bit we have to do what we have to do to get through this 
when everything is feeling really big out there, we come back to what we know for certain. Come back to your tribe, to your home. You know for certain when you're with them, you're safe. When you're in those four walls with them, they're safe, you're safe. Come back to the simple things. It's okay if bedtime gets knocked out, it's okay. When there is so much that we need to be doing, what we should be doing starts to get knocked off the list and that won't break them, that's okay. What they need is you. They need you to hold them close, to love them big. They need time to play, to sleep, to move. Um, and if you can do that, if you can hold them close, if you can love them big and be available for the chats when you can be available, you don't even have to have all the answers, then you will absolutely get them through this. You're built for this. We have been through tough times before. Your family would have been through tough times before and you were the one who got them through and you'll get them through again. Hold them close, love them big and they will be okay. We will get through this and we'll get through it together.